What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. And V4.1 has brought with it brand new double boosters that are going to be coming in the next couple of weeks. So we already got a free Andres Iniesta. Let me know your thoughts on him. We have a video on him. But we also got a brand new list as well. There's a couple of people on Twitter that had the list from the data that was released with V4.1 of new cards. Now, these are going to be double boosters, and we're going to show you a couple of mock-ups here as well as the full list in just a second, right? So you can see a couple of the names there. And obviously, this is going to be for people... I think, look, these are all the names, man. You've got Sedarf, you've got Kaka, Nesta, Ambrosini, Stoichkov, Milito... Javier Zanetti, Roy Carr, Van Basten and Hullet are back in. That pack is an old pack that has never been released. That Dutch trio as it's been called. And look at the amount of Barcelona players. Suarez, Neymar, Messi. And yes, that is from the MSN days. Cruyff, Xavi, Luis Figo, Romario, Edmilson, Gigi Buffon is in. New Patrick Vieira, Xavi Alonso, Beckham, Lampard, Carlos Tati. And of course, Turam is back there as well with Gilberto Silva. So there's a kind of a mix, right? Now, we do also know by the time that this uh, that Monday comes, this is the brand new epics that we're going to be getting are their new cards. You've got Bojan and Morientes and Eto'o. Bojan obviously being the new one. But on to the new double boosters, right? So these are kind of mock-ups here, obviously, of what these potential cards could look at. All the cards from the list that we just talked about there. All of these cards have been added with the V4.1 data or asset uh, you know, addition, right? So they're in the game files as of right now. They just w w haven't the cards released yet, right? So you've got Buffon, you've got Patrick Vieira, and obviously these are going to be different. You can know by the ages of the cards if you go back and look at the list. You know by the ages of the cards. You can kind of go back in and Google and see, right, what age was Patrick Vieira? What version of Patrick Vieira is that going to be? You know, what kind of jersey is going to be wearing? Um, all this sort of stuff and how big of a dominant force he could be. But I do think that there are a couple of nice cards in here. Obviously, these are probably the most, like, kind of, I would say, most hype ones. And as I've said, these cards, these double boosters, they are, I think they are really specifically targeted new players that are going to be looking to get really good boosters that have not been playing the game that long. You know, for the likes of me and you, we might already have a couple of versions of Kaka. We might already have a couple of versions of Vieira, or even with the case of Javier Zanetti, who is going to be a new double booster here, we might have a lot of right backs that can do a job. But if we missed out on Vieira before, if we missed out on Rijkaard before, we weren't playing the game six months ago or a year ago, and we're only playing it now, and we're looking to, you know, to actually get good cards, this is kind of where it's going. Now, a lot of people have been asking me about Luis Suarez, and this looks like it could be a really nice trio pack of Suarez, Neymar, and of course, Messi as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. But Suarez is going to be very decent. Depends on his speed. His speed and his balance are going to be key to have this card really meta. Other than that, I don't think it's going to switch it up too much. We're always going to get more Neymar and Messi cards as well. There's actually two versions of Messi in. So the first one you're going to see in a second. This Neymar looks to be going to be his prime, prime version, right? So this would have been, what, 2016, I'm going to say? Um, so Neymar would have been quite young, obviously. Uh, you're going back nearly, what, seven, eight years? And then, of course, you had Leo Messi there as well, um, where he was just scoring goals for fun. I mean, that Suarez that you had there, I think he scored like 50-plus goals that season. And then, of course, you had Messi and Ronaldo duking it out with their 60, 70, 80 goals a season as well um, over their prime. So it's going to be interesting, man. I definitely think it's going to be interesting as to what will happen with the cards. Again, a lot of people are kind of saying, where are the new legends? And we'll get to that in just a second. But I do feel as if um, these double boosters, I feel like they're just probably going to be the content that we get this season, you know, and it'll be interesting in V4.2, which looks to be a big beefier kind of update to go into that. And as I said, right, as well, they are removing players like Fabregas and Shalini. Obviously, these are concept designs that we've done up to mock up. I would love Roy Keane. I've said this. I'm trying to wish it into existence. But Cesc Fabregas and Shalini will now be kind of ready for kind of hero cards. It's like what FIFA is doing or EAFC is doing. And of course, we're all still waiting for the big boy. We're all still waiting for R9, lads. I think that's probably the one that when I'm streaming or doing videos, it's the one you guys most want. So let me know who else you would like to see. Let me know what you think of these double boosters. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.